a paratrooper from the 82nd Airborne dropped into Bagram Airfield recently. Among his achievements are two silver stars, two purple hearts, two bronze stars, the Distinguished Service Cross, and six campaign stars. In 2007, he was nominated for the Medal of Honor. He even has his own action figure. The thing is, he's 91 years old. Lieutenant Colonel James Magellis, or Maggie as he prefers to be called, visited troops in Bagram to sign free copies of his book, All the Way to Berlin, about his exploits with the 82nd Airborne. But this isn't his first time in country. This is my third trip, I might add, to, uh, to Afghanistan. And uh, I come out to visit troops and to tell them that the great job they're doing for our country, how much it's appreciated. And also, my two previous trips, I was invited by the regiment I fought with in, in World War II, the 82nd Airborne Division. The World War II vet has a strong handshake and a warm smile for everyone. Jim jealous, sir. God bless you, Colonel. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Word is obviously spread quickly here, as the line goes all the way outside. Maggie will tell you things certainly have changed since he was in the Army. That was our jumpsuit then, you know, original brown boots that we had. But some things remain the same. Our greatest blessing that has been bestowed upon us is our young men and women who answered the call since the darkest days, the founding of our country and the revolution. Since those days, the soldiers know that, I don't have to tell them that. I'm kind of, when I say these things, I'm sort of preaching to the choir. He admits he doesn't feel like he's 20 years old anymore. I was born 57 years after the end of the Civil War. And when I was in, uh, going through grade school, uh, and I was 10 years old, the war was over about as long as it is now that I, I'm talking about World War II. When I followed Civil War, like the young kids in school are following World War II. Yes. But these trips are always worth it. My wife describes it best, I guess. She says around the house, I kind of mope. I, you know, I'm kind of hard to deal with, and she's got to, she's got to be reminding me the garbage got to be taken out and all the rest. But she says that when I'm with my element, when I'm with soldiers, then I spruce up and I'm energized, and I think that's the answer. That I do, uh, I do draw a lot of energy and a lot of strength being with the troops out here because I know that what they have to go through. Maggie's tour will continue for several days, visiting forward operating bases around Afghanistan. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, I'm Marine Corporal Robert Durham. <laughs>